everyone hope you're keeping uh, safe today we're going to make a toilet roll tube minion which i thought was a bit of fun so to make this you're going to need can anybody guess what my first item is going to be you guessed it it's a toilet roll tube you will need some yellow paint You'll also need some black paint, which I've actually put just put out in my palette there, ready for a bit later on in the video. And a paintbrush, of course. You will need some scissors. You'll need some blue card. Some white card. You'll need a pencil, because we need to do a bit of drawing in this one today. Uh, you'll also need glue stick and a black pen so first of all you need to paint your toilet roll tube so that it is completely yellow now this isn't i paint mine because i find it easier but you don't have to paint yours yellow you can make do yellow tissue paper you can do yellow card around wrap around the tube you can do yellow masking, uh, yellow tape if you've got yellow tape at home. You can do that around the tube as long as it's yellow. So the next step is to take your blue card and we're going to draw the bits we need to make his dungarees. Okay. Now, because this is quite a fiddly thing to do, I've actually done my pieces before I filmed today. So, here are the bits and pieces I cut out earlier. So, you need two long strips. You need a square. And you need a little sort of half moon shape for his pocket. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our tube. And we're going to glue one of the strips around the bottom of the tube to begin with so I'm just gonna do this So, I have glued a strip on the bottom. Now, the little pegs that I've used there are just to keep the ends uh, from lifting up. Because it's card, it can take a while for it to stick. You can use PVA glue if you have any at home. I just prefer to use Pritt Stick. But any glue is absolutely fine. So, we're going to put that to one side a minute. And now, we're going to take our second strip. And we're going to glue it so that it's sort of halfway, you know, sort of halfway down the tube. Because we need quite a large area for his eyes and mouth. So I'm going to glue this bit on now. Oops. So there we have the two lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that bit to dry and we're going to start on making his eyes now. And we can come back to this bit later in the video. So to make his eyes, you'll need the white card, which I have here. And something... Oh, something small to draw around here we go with my pencil so I'm going to draw around I've just got a little googly eye here because I'm not using them for this one like I have done in the others I'm using it to the perfect size to draw around so we're going to do two circles
Okay, so there's my two circles that I've drawn. I'm going to cut these out now. This can be a bit fiddly. So if you've got smaller scissors than I have, it will help you out an awful lot because these scissors are quite big. So it makes it a bit it makes it even more fiddly to cut out. Okay. So I've now got two white circles and I'm going to take my black pen and I'm going to draw two little circles in the middle for his eyes. Okay, so there we have his two eyes. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the eyes to one side and we're going to finish off making his dungarees. Now, I've cut mine a bit big, so I need to cut that down so that it's not overhanging the tube. So we can just trim it off. And then we're going to stick that square like so, so it overlaps, so it looks like he's wearing a pair of dungarees. I'm going to use lots of glue. And then once we've got that, obviously these pegs won't be here when I finish. I've just got these just to help me to keep things uh, stuck down. You don't have to use pegs if you don't have any. That's absolutely fine. But if you've got some, it can be it can be helpful in holding bits together to let it dry whilst you're still doing other parts. So we're now going to put his little pocket on the front. Again, with these things, I, they take a little while to dry. And because I'm doing this live, sometimes they move about. So we now have dungarees and a pocket. And we're going to take our little pen. And we're going to pop on, if you see from the one I did earlier, the two little dots for the top of the dungarees, because they're the buckles on his dungarees. So we're going to give him two circles. Now, here's where the fun part comes in. So, we're going to take the paint that I put out from earlier and we're going to make two black circles close together because that's going to be his glasses on here. So, we need to do two black circles. You might want a, a, a small, fine brush for this if you have one. So you're just going to do this much better than I am right now. <laughs> So we've got our two circles. So what we're going to do now, you can either wait for this to dry and glue your eyes on, 
or because the paint is wet you can stick the eyes on straight away anyway and it can dry with the paint so if we go one eye Sorry, this bit is a bit fiddly if you're going straight on to wet paint because you don't want black on the white if you can help it. Okay, so there's the glasses. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the legs of the glasses now, like we've got on this one. See how they're coming along there side by side? So, I'm going to take your black paint again, and we're going to do two lines for Glass's legs. So we now have something that looks like that. Now all that's missing is his mouth so we're going to make his mouth now and for that i just used a black pen and i've done a circle but you can do any mouth you want on yours i thought it was quite funny to have a circle And there we have our finished minion. Now, oops, if I take the pegs off now, because that should be dry. Well, hey, there we go. Now, you can do your minions any way you like. You can have um, one eye. Some of them have just one eye in the middle. You can put some hair on yours if you like. Um, I haven't drawn, some of you will have probably noticed, those of you that love minions like I do will have noticed I haven't put the logo in the middle and that's because I'm not very good at drawing but I know lots of you out there who are amazing at drawing and and I would love to see if anybody makes these minions I'd love to see what you do if you can post them on the building bridges or the QB page for me to have a look I will give you a like and probably write a comment because they will be amazing I'm sure thank you for joining me today and I will see you next week bye